Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another Mob Battle Mondays on the channel or just what is another Mob Battle Day because we're doing them a fair bit at the moment because you guys are sending in some absolutely amazing suggestions that I am loving. Uh, last week we had Fish's Undead Rising versus I've now forgotten. It was Primitive Mobs, wasn't it actually? Yeah, it was Primitive Mobs. That was a sick suggestion. I love that. Uh, which sparked a suggestion I have chosen today. Boom, boom, here we go. Can you see it? Can you see it? It is Fisher's Undead Rising again, but it's going to be the main mod this time versus the Moses Mobs, brought to us by Sean Delavin, a regular commenter on the channel. What a great suggestion, Sean, you have come up with today. Uh, it is a great one. I'm looking forward to doing this. And yes, guys, if you want your suggestions up on this mighty fine board, remember you have to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, slap that like button, and then comment down below what mob battles you want to see on the channel. Anyway, great suggestion. Can't wait to do it. Let's crack on with it. All right, into the beautiful arena we go. Uh, and because with the Fish's Undead Rising mod, and also we're doing the Undertaker from that mod, uh, we need night vision because we have to do it in the dark uh, because otherwise the mobs all burn, which is a bit annoying, but it is the thing. Okay, let's do this thing. Alrighty. Uh, okay, let's drink up. Uh, time. S oh, no, I've got my capsules on. Lovely. Time set. Let's change it to 14 pounds. There we go. Sick. Booyah. Awesome. So, we'll slap that there. Mr. Undertaker is going up against the Barakawada, the Falayaf, the Barakoa, the Sun Chief. Naga, Frostmore, the new one, and the Furious Rotnaught to finish it off. Now, if this guy gets pretty much murked by all of these, uh, then we're going to bring out the Sludge Lord. Uh, so, stick around. We might be getting that bad boy out, but you're going to want to stick around anyway for the awesome commentary. Don't you even lie. You love it. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's make sure it's set to hard. Boom, here we have the Undertaker. He has quite good armor and a decent amount of health for what he is. So, we didn't do this guy last week, so he is new to you guys if you haven't downloaded the latest Fish's Undead Rising mod. He looks absolutely awesome. I did want to do him last week, but I thought I'd save him for this week. So, let's get these guys out. So this is going to be a good one. He's not the biggest of dudes, this guy, but I'm expecting good things. Oh, I didn't know he did that. Okay, so he calls out help. That is amazing. Okay, <laughs> these guys are just chasing him around now. Oh my goodness. I did not know this guy was so OP. I did not know he called out like the dead to come and help him. He just murked that guy like straight away. It just took no time in the slightest. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's kill those. Boom, let's get out another one. This is going to be awesome. Okay, I can feel this is going to be a good battle today already. Uh, all right, so Falayaf versus Undertaker. And he's bringing out his little peeps to help him. Uh, the Falayaf is already dead. But I tell you what, the Undertaker does take a fair bit of damage. Uh, but with his backup here, hopefully... That will help him out. All right, let's take him out there. All righty, let's progress on to the Sun Chief. Booyah. Okay, now the Sun Chief has a lot more health. Uh, and he's got a few more new abilities, if I remember correctly. All right, Mr. Undertaker, do your ting, do your ting. Okay, flipping heck, that's probably going to murk you straight away. Uh, flipping heck, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage on this guy. Okay, I'm going to be surprised if the Undertaker can do this. He's calling in a lot of help. But then the Barracor and the Sun Chief is calling in a lot of help as well. This is a great battle. I'm loving this one already. Uh, I don't know where this guy's at. He's always oh, health is dipping low. He is dipping low. But the Sun Chief has lost legitimately 
no health at all. But my goodness me. He is cooked. This is literally an army battle right here. This is mental already. This is sick. I'm loving this. I know, like, the Undertaker isn't really damaging this guy. I don't know why. Uh, it's a bit weird. It's like he's just, he's just sort of calling for help, and, and that's sort of much it. Uh, but the Sun Chief is definitely damaging him and will definitely kill this guy. And that's that. That is that. That was carnage. That was honestly awesome. I love that one. I don't know why the Barrel Corner could not kill this guy, but he just couldn't. Uh, don't know what's going on here. You guys are not part of this today. Please disperse from the arena. Uh, you will perish beneath my sword or mob battle stick thing. That's it. Everybody died. Nice. Everybody's gone now. That is a lot of death. That is a heck of a ton of death. All right. Let's get this guy back out here. And now let's progress on to the Naga. Now, the Naga is a flying mob. So we will see how this goes. All right. Come back here, Mr. Naga. I can already feel like the Undertaker just wants to fight this guy. I can, I can feel it in my bones. All right. So here we go. Let's take him down. Let's hit him with the stick of death. Okay. The Naga is going to go in for a dive, and I presume whenever he goes in for the dive, that is when he's going to take the most damage. Okay, so Naga was hitting him. Oh, did I accidentally hit screenshot? Did not want to do that. Okay, so Naga has taken no damage thus far, but I'm hoping he's going to take some... There we go. He took some mad hits when he dived in there. That was sick. Okay, he's going in for more. So the Naga's downfall is that he has to go in for those dive attacks. Oh, I love that. That's a bit of a new animation, isn't it? With the square, because usually it was just gas. Because that, that square is definitely new. Look at this army, though. That is lovely. Uh, where's the Naga at? There he is. He's just chilling up there. He doesn't really quite know what to do. He's dropping those acid bombs. Oh, my gosh. He has taken these guys out lickety-split. Where's he going? Bro, bro, where where be you goings? Okay, you come back down here. You come you come back down. You gonna you gonna continue fighting? You're not you're not gonna continue fighting. Don't you dare fly away. Don't you don't you dare fly away from me, good sir. All right, let's re-hit the Undertaker and let's kick this off again. Okay, boom. Where did I go? There he is. He's up there. Is he going for the dive? He's gone for the dive. Uh, there he is. I thought he died for a second. Okay, come on, come on, Naga. Do something cool. Finish this. See it off. Be the last surviving mob. I don't know. Kill them all and stuff. Okay, so he's on 60%. This is a close battle. This is a close one. So he's going mainly for, like, the helper mobs. But he's taking them down. He is taking them down. But he is getting damaged at the same time as well. I think this is honestly the longest I've ever seen the Naga survive, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, he normally dies pretty much straight away, uh, or fairly quickly. He's a cool looking mob though. Oh, he didn't get any injury from that point. Okay, is he going to go for the Undertaker? No, he's going he's gonna to continue to fly away. Uh, the Undertaker lost much health. The Undertaker has about 30%. Uh, so it's not the worst uh, attack the Naga's ever done. Uh, okay, come on, come on, go back over there, go back over there and attack him, attack this guy. Don't, don't, don't be a coward. Just go destroy him. I know he's got like a little posse down here, but don't, don't let that that fool you. He's a real, real big baby actually. Okay, come on. Okay, there the Undertaker's going for him. He's just below. Go on, do the dive bomb, you thingy. Do the dive bomb. I believe in you. Look at those guys. Are they, like, clapping for him? I have no idea. Or is it... not? Yes, dive bomb. Oh, that was a big hit. That was a substantial blow. Okay, wowzers. There, there's a lot of these uh, undead things. Okay, he's going for it. Oh, oh come on. Okay, not much health left on the Naga now. He's getting a bit more into the fight. These guys are... Oh, no, I'm losing my night vision. Uh, I'm losing the night vision. Let's have another bit. Boom. We're all good. We're all good. The Naga is still going strong. I don't want him to attack and die while I'm not watching. Yes. 
Okay, come on. You literally have hardly any health left. One more hit or one more dive bomb should kill this guy, to be perfectly honest with you. Go flipping it. Come on, come on. Oh, he went for that one dude. Flipping out that one dude killed him. That one dude murked him. Nice. Oh, this guy had 1% health left as well. Flipping it. Well, there you go. Undertaker smoked the Naga and kill all those mobs. Oh, wowzers. It is it's a bit of a bloodbath in here today. All right, Mr. Undertaker. Are you ready for the Frostmore? Probably not. I imagine the Frostmore will kill this guy. Uh, that's just my bet anyway. I think I think he's gonna I think he's gonna kill the Frostmore. Uh, no, I think the Frostmore is gonna kill the Undertaker. Uh, just the Frostmore is just too powerful. Just look how cool this guy is. He's just gonna backhand this guy till he dies. Uh, that that is lit. <laughs> Flipping Merc in this guy already. Uh, it's ridiculous. He's dead. That was really quick. That was really quick. Uh, did he lose any health? He lost two percent health. Wow. Wowzers. Two per a whole two percent, you say? Uh, flipping heck! I love the new little animations of this guy. I will say it. he looks sick. Oh no, he did! He did! All right, so I will probably I'm going to put the Sludge Lord up against the winners. That's what I'm going to do. So that's that's how we're going to do this. Uh, I I know this guy is going to kill this guy, so I'm not even sure there's much point in doing this one. But we're going to do it anyway, uh, just because why the hell not? Uh, has this guy's eyes changed? I feel like they have. Uh, they just single hit it. Just, I can't even speak. I'm that taken aback by how quickly that just happened. He just one hitted all of these. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Flipping hit. He's not even fast. He's not even phased. The the Undertaker can't damage this guy in the slightest because the furious rot noise just one hitting them like they are nothing okay here we go I'm gonna go for a one hit again and yep yeah, yeah nice yeah this this guy's not gonna kill this guy oh my goodness it's not it's not gonna happen is it okay let's wait for it wait for it they are just all gathering around I'm, i want the undertaker to bring up like loads more i think that'd be really cool uh the fierce rot is not phased in the slightest Oh, yeah, here we go. More have come to help. Uh, Fewer short not is not even worried about them. Uh, the Undertaker's taken no damage from that, though, which is slightly strange. So, I don't really know what to say about that. Oh, no, there we go. Maybe I just hit the wrong guy. Well, that's that. <laughs> that's that. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. All right, so as promised, I'm going to get out the Sludge Lord. Because he is like the big boss of the mod. Uh, where are you, Mr. Sludge of the Lords? Uh, where are you? There he is. Alright. Oh, got a frog stuck in my throat for a second. Uh, Alright, so he has 70 HP, smidge more, but he has more armor. So, that's the difference. Really. Alright, come on, Mr. Sunchief. Do your thing, bro. Sludge Lord also calls in for backup, uh, but he is not moving very fast. He's, if anything, he's stuck in one place now on fire. Uh, I think he's gonna die. I think this guy gonna die big time. Mr. Sunchief, uh, Mr. Sludge Lord, are you going to, you gonna do anything? I feel like, I feel like the other guy was more practical than you. Uh, the Undertaker did better. Uh, that was a bit of a letdown by the Sludge Lord, not gonna lie. Uh, let's get out the Frostmore now. This could be a bit more even, two heavy hitters. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, do your thing, Lord of the Sludge. What a thing to be a Lord of. It's not really cool, is it? Alright, so he is doing some damage to the Frostmore. He's probably done more damage to the Frostmore thus far. He has. Is he gonna do any more damage? Probably not. Uh, just, no, he done 2 HP more of damage. Oh my goodness. I'm getting really tongue-tied today at some points. I don't know why that is. Uh, alright. Go on, Sludge Lord. We'll do it. We'll do it against the Furious Rot Knot. We might as well get this thing done with. Do your thing. Do your thing, bro. Okay, it's gonna be... Oh, that's a heavy hit. That is pretty much down. 
Oh my goodness. That is it. That, that, that's it. Uh, I'm going to give it to the Moses mobs today because they just murked them, uh, quite frankly. <laughs> Very good effort by the Fisher's Undead Rising mod. Great mod as well. Uh, but the Moses absolutely won it today. I'm sorry. The, the little mobs obviously got killed by the Fishers, but the big mobs, the main mobs, absolutely powered through them like they were nothing. But there you go, Sean, what a suggestion today, mate. Love this suggestion. Great, great suggestion. And remember, guys, if you want your suggestion done, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff. Help grow the channel. Uh, because the more you help grow the channel, the more I can do this because I love it. And it frees up more time for me. And, uh, yeah, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.